and BJP has swept Madhya Pradesh as of now we are standing in front of our quint lab uh, the numbers are live in front of us as you can see it's 3:30 in the afternoon BJP is leading in 166 seats whereas Congress is leading in a mere 62 seats which is an abysmal figure for a party that was very confident um, in the run up to the elections as you can see here we have given you a detail of all the seats the constituencies where BJP is leading uh, or is expected to win at this stage um, you know it's it's not early anymore it's fairly late in the uh, counting and although there are a few constituencies that we'll still get to um, this is the big neta tracker that uh, you can see over here these are the big some of the big major names ahead in the madhya pradesh elections and we will we are tracking very closely how they are doing um, but as of now the results are fairly clear we know that shivraj singh chauhan led bjp is winning madhya pradesh um, i have with me aditya menon who is the political editor of the quint and we just want to understand how this came to be like i said congress was very uh, confident and a lot of opinion polls ahead of the elections had also predicted a congress victory of course the exit polls ultimately did tell us that uh, the bjp is expected to win aditya what do you think went wrong do you think the party's planning from the beginning was wrong with congress or do you think it was the last month or so that ultimately led to bjp's victory uh, i think it was the structural weakness of the congress the congress hasn't been in power in madhya pradesh except for that uh, one and a half year interregnum from 2018 to 2019 uh, congress has been out of power in madhya pradesh since 2003 so that is like 20 years it's in fact just a little less than the congress has been out of power in in a state like gujarat Uh, so the bjp is extremely entrenched in madhya pradesh congress just can't match the kind of organizational depth that the bjp has in madhya pradesh uh, i was speaking to uh, a few people who were part of the bharat jodo yatra and they said that madhya pradesh was by far the weakest state that they went to i think the congress because of that failed to translate the anti incumbency into victory in madhya pradesh uh, but was there really anti incumbency in madhya pradesh uh, fatima i mean shivraj chauhan seems to have been a popular cm he was a popular cm yes he well continues to be a popular figure in madhya pradesh but i feel beyond just uh, what shivraj singh chauhan stands for i do think that there was anger against the bjp and that is where shivraj singh chauhan's performance is even more laudable right the fact that he was able to convert all that anger or resentment against the bjp um, and say that look no uh, your brotherly figure as we know he, shivraj singh chauhan goes by the moniker of shivraj mama uh, as he's popularly known in the state how he was able to tap into those sentiments of resentment and visit uh, households go to people tell them that look i'm here for you uh, i've been here for you for a while now we were discussing earlier in the day that the largely behna yojana um which is this basically welfare scheme for women of the state uh, where they get financial benefit into their bank accounts directly that is something that we know now played a very important role in helping him uh, you know regain that uh, that just confidence of the masses that uh, the bjp will be able to perform and clearly i mean it's something that uh, is remarkable because four time chief minister uh, you know nearly two decade long run to still continue having this kind of uh, base is incredible um, but do keep track of the quint as we will be bringing you the latest figures uh, as the day goes on